I say I can do custom, I mean I can literally do almost anything that you want. So for example, I'm just going to go to Pinterest. Say, you know, you're on Pinterest, you see this cute little file that you want. So what I do is, this is just my home page. I haven't searched anything. But for example, say you liked this. I'm going to download this, and then I'm going to upload it into my software. And let's make it. What we're going to do is I'm going to downsize this. And I'm going to trace it so that I can have my engraved lines. Pick what looks to be the best outline for me for about 79%. And then I'm going to trace it. I'm going to get rid of the original image. Circle rounds are about 2 inches. save as hard drive it has to be an SVG let's head over to the Glowforge turn it on and set up our circle piece make a jig I've I tried a jig but I like to do it this way it's easier and it's actually faster for me um, it takes no time to reassemble so then I'm going to take a small masking tape and I expose this hole so I know where the top is push this down really really well and then I'm just gonna wrap it around you don't have to mask I actually prefer the charred look um, but I'm gonna put these in the boutique so I want them to look really um, clean and sharp all right and then I'm just gonna follow the grid make sure this is straight and then put my honeycomb pins in. I'm not touching the top. I'm just putting it in the holes closer so that uh, it can't move. And then we can go into our Glowforge software. Right, so this is the Glowforge software. We're going to create a new file. We're going to bring up that dinosaur. Let's this for a moment. Before I make sure that this is awesome on there, we're going to go ahead and set our settings. It's not certified material. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick something similar to this. And we're just going to click engrave. And I already have the settings that I want to use. So I'm going to select that. And then we can work with our artwork. So we're going to zoom in um, and try to get this as centered as I want it. There we go. So sometimes with artwork like this, if I get it in here and I'm like, you know what? There's a lot of empty space. This empty space here. I will go in and I will recreate this flower and put those around too. But for this video, I'm just going to send this over to the Glowforge. So we're going to hit this print button. So it's going to take 4 minutes and 53 seconds. I really wanted to bring you up close to this and let you see how cool this laser is. The detail that this thing can get is so precise, it's the width of a strand of hair. I absolutely love watching it work and it's actually really fast. Um, when I thought about getting this, I was thinking it would take so much longer. This is what it looks like with masking tape on. Now, this is what you, that you have some options here. If you like the way that it looks white, or maybe you just want the skull white, or whatever, you can leave it on and just put a sealer on there, which I do often. With some of my customs, they really like that look. But you're just gonna come in here and scrape off what you don't want. 
it comes off really easy. Oops. Um, so I'm gonna scrape off everything with the skull and I'll show you what that looks like. All right, so this is the finished product. Oh, we got a little bit of tape. I prefer the white skull. It looks more natural. So if we didn't have the masking tape on there, you would see a little bit of a, the char underneath, like a shadow, which is really nice on the darker wood, but the lighter wood, <clears throat> most people prefer that it's, um, you know, clean. And then we'll assemble this, assemble this to a wristlet and be done.